I want you to know how brave you are for volunteering for this mission. You certainly have more guts than most of your peers, my good sir. You're the final piece in a very complicated little operation. In fact, you're the most important part, I'd say. When the history of these important events is written, you'll go down as the unsung hero. The soldier who sacrificed so much for his fellow man. It brings a tear to my eye just thinking about it, soldier. The world will never forget Private Jimmy. Gosh! You know, I just want to help out in any way I can. My girl back home always said, you're not worth a darn if you just stand by without helping your fellow man. Well, you're most certainly doing that. So, how can I help? Just sit right there while these two gentlemen take care of everything. Uh, okay, sure thing. Prepare him for AI implantation. AI hey, what now? Ah! What are you doing to my skull? Ah, no, this doesn't seem physically possible! Your <laughs> service is appreciated, Private Jimmy. Radio check. One, two, sibilance. One, two, a buckle machu. Can you read me? Vic? Hello. Yes, hello. This is Vic. Transmitting from simulation outpost. Uh-uh. Remember, you're Vic from Command. Yes. Apologies, Agent Florida. I will be sure to modify my greeting in the future. Are you nearing completion of your simulation preparation? Indeed I am. You can inform the director that I've assembled both red and blue teams for Blood Gulch Outpost 1 and Alpha. Everything is looking dandy. Let me tell you, nothing short of an aspirin overdose will stop this plan from succeeding. Excellent news, sir. All right, then. Protocol established by command now allows you to activate the Alpha. If our theories are correct, the Alpha will gain full control over the host body it assumes to be its own. Odds of memory contamination from the host mind are very slim. That is fantastic news. And it says here in the important notes section that you need to make sure the Alpha has no recollection of the events concerning Project Freelancer. Nothing about the other fragments, nothing about the crash, and absolutely nothing about the med. Understood. It also says not to put the Alpha in any immediate danger as, quote, it is unknown how severe injury or death may affect the host body AI relationship. <laughs> I wasn't planning on any of my men dying. That would just be poor leadership on my part. That is all for the command directives, Agent Florida. Keep in mind, not only am I here to provide false direction for the simulation troopers, I am also programmed to assist you in monitoring and managing this operation. If you need anything else, let me know and I will contact command. Well, that sounds handy. Thank you, Vic. Oh, there's one more note here. It also says to make sure that you have a great day, Captain. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. Now, it's time to begin. Private Griff! Did you send in the order for our new jeep? Uh, probably? He took a nap in the middle of filing the paperwork, but I finished it for him, sir. I didn't order you to do that, Simmons! Both of you drop right now and give me 20! 20 what? 20 more minutes? You're not making any sense. No, push-ups. Why would he punish you with a nap? I don't know why he's punishing me at all. You're the one that took matters into his own hands. You know, Sergeant, I'd be careful with this guy if I were you. He seems like a bit of a loose cannon. Something tells me you're not being entirely genuine, Private. Who, me? Nah. I just want to make sure we establish a good working relationship. Hello? 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 Can you hear me, Private? Ugh. Yeah. Private. What? Where am I? Easy there, son. It's me. Your good friend and mentor, Captain Butch Flowers. There was an accident. You seem to have lost some of your memory. An accident? What, what, what happened? There was a wet spot on the floor. You slipped and hit your head. Oh. Tell me, do you remember your name? Uh, my name? Uh, my name is Leonard Church. It is indeed. And what's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I don't know. I remember that there was the snow and there was fighting. Interesting. Interesting. Go on. Yeah, my, uh, and my girlfriend Tex was there, and she was fighting... I guess she was fighting someone. Is that so? And who was Tex fighting? Oh, it was, um... Yeah, I don't know. I. Oh, my God. Private Jimmy! That's right. Poor Private Jimmy. You've certainly mentioned him before. Yeah, I remember someone named Private Jimmy, but I don't know. It, it was weird. She was... Beating him to death with his own skull? Well, that doesn't seem physically possible. But if that's what you remember, then why question it? Just be sure to let me know whenever more memories start falling into place. We want to be sure to get our... I mean, 
your story straight. Uh, yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. So what's with this armor? We're fighting someone, right? Hello? Oh, hey, Captain. Ah, Private Tucker, our newest recruit. I'd like you to meet your comrade, Private Church. Sup? Are you a chick? No. Bummer. Yeah, I don't like you. Come on now, fellas. We're a team. Teams have to work together. So how about we go on a little scouting mission? Really? I mean, sounds like I just woke up from a traumatic head injury. You sure that's a good idea? Hey, how come he gets a cool armor color and I'm stuck with blue? What? I'm just saying. No one's gonna take me seriously. I look like a fucking Teletubby. Captain Flowers, is it possible that he could get shot on this mission? It's not likely. Well, there's no harm in trying. Hey, uh, that's a pretty nice looking sniper rifle, Captain. Can I use it? Tell you what, Private. If the three of us ever go out on a scouting mission like this again, I'll let you do the honors. Awesome! So what are the Reds doing? Oh, you can be sure that whatever it is they're talking about down there, it's absolutely <laughs> diabolical. No. Come on, Simmons, don't be a buzzkill. <sighs> don't do it, don't kill my buzz. For the last time, I don't want to go. But dude, the Vegas Quadrant is only three parsecs from here. We could get there, we could gamble away our life savings, we could kill a hooker or two, and we'd be back here before Sarge even notices that we're gone. I'm not going to the fucking Quadrant. Don't talk about the Quadrant. Griff! Simmons! Ah, shit. There goes our chance. I thought I told you two to clean this place up. There are grenades and guns lying around everywhere. Sorry, sir, it won't happen again. Private Griff was just distracting me from my duties. Is this true, Griff? Actually, Simmons was distracting me with some convoluted scheme to sneak away to the Vegas Quadrant before you came to check on us. I was about to report it to you. What? My God, Simmons! How could you? I was holding your rations for the rest of the day. And thank you, Private Griff, for reporting this incident. You, sir, are a good soldier. Good enough to take that extra ration? I don't think Private Simmons is going to be needing it. <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh, keep up the good work, Griff. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Uh, but, but, sir! Get back to cleaning, Simmons! I don't want any more of your back's ass! I can't fucking believe you. Look, I'm not going to apologize for conjuring an extra meal out of disobeying a direct order. Unless, of course, you want to go to the Vegas Quadrant. God damn it! Well, I think it's safe to say they're still getting their base in order. No imminent threats. So, do we have a plan of attack? Attack? Oh no. No need to incite conflict, Private Church. It's best to keep you out of harm's way for the time being. And me too. Right, Captain Flowers? Yes, whatever you say, Private Tucker. I'm very pleased with how all of this is coming together. I think everything is going to work out just fine. Why is he just turned away talking like that? Dude, I have no idea. This is the weirdest day from waking up from a coma ever. Greetings, Agent Florida, and welcome back. Do you have anything to report? Only that things are better than a cool glass of lemonade on a hot July afternoon, Vic. This quote-unquote war will be a stalemate for quite some time. Maybe up to 14 seasons if we're lucky. I'm sorry, sir? Oh, I, I, I prefer to think of the passage of time in terms of the four seasons, as opposed to the standard Gregorian calendar. Ah, very good, sir. Would you like me to go over the failsafe protocol that we have established? Show me the list, please. Here is the prioritized list of freelancer personnel to be sent to Blood Gulch in the event of your absence and or death. Excellent work, Vic. Each of these soldiers are more than capable. Well, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but get back to... Ah, fiddlesticks! Ouch! Agent Ford... Dude! Whoa! You all right down there? Looks like you took a bit of a tumble, my titty field compadre. Gosh. Must have slipped on a wet spot on the floor. Vic. Could you please do me a favor and put in a request to command for some wet floor signs? You never can be too careful. You got it, diddly dude. Remember, you need anything, you just give your boy Vic a call at five 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 B R C K. I'll be sure to do just that. Farewell, Vic. This is gonna run smoother than a baby's bottom, Cappy. Not that I would know. Can't have kids since the vasectomy. Slash the fact that I'm secretly a computer. But that's a story for another diddly time. Point I'm trying to make, dude. That I got a really good feeling about this whole blood gulch thing.